Hello there, I'm Regan Harper, an instructional design librarian at Gumberg Library, and today I'll be giving you a brief overview of Open Educational Resources, or OERs. Open Educational Resources are instructional materials that you can use in your courses for free. They can be textbooks, videos, lesson plans, and more. When using OERs, you're allowed to do a couple of things. You can reuse the materials as many times as you want, revise and change the information, Remix the content by combining it with other OERs or your own resources. You can redistribute the resources to your students, other faculty, and at conferences. And you can retain the OERs for as long as you need. We use OERs for a variety of reasons, but some of the big ones include reducing the cost of textbooks for our students and increasing the diversity of voices and topics that we include in our classes. When using an OER, it is always important to check the copyright for yourself. Some OERs will allow you to have more rights than others, but they generally will all be under Creative Commons. There are four main types of restrictions that you will encounter. Attribution, non-commercial, share-alike, and non-derivative. These restrictions can be the only restrictions on a resource, or they can be combined. I recommend holding onto a chart like this one to reference as you encounter Creative Commons copyrights. At Gumberg Library, we provide a variety of resources for you to learn about OERs and copyright. First is our OER Research Guide. This guide gives you an overview of what OERs are, the links to big collections of OERs, and upcoming events and webinars where you can learn more. Our other research guide is the subject-specific OERs, which includes our recommended OERs based on school and subject area. Lastly, you can always reach out to me if you have any additional questions about OERs or copyright, or if you would like assistance with finding or creating OERs.